Hola guys, happy Monday. It is a chilly, chilly Monday. Um, I'm currently sitting in the car outside of work trying to defrost to the ice on my windshield. That is ice, my friends. Uh, we had heard uh, that uh, weather was gonna get bad. We we're gonna have freezing rain and sleet and it has started to drop I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Sorry, I just had a weird little. I'm feeling lightheaded. Okay. What is going on? Maybe it's just because I'm cold. I want to be sure I'm good before I take off. But yeah, I'm sitting here letting. Um, the windshield defrost some so I can get home safely. The roads are starting to get a little raggedy, so we want to be sure that we get home safe. Matter of fact, let me see. I could probably just scrape this off that way. I don't waste too much more time because if I sit here until 5 o'clock, all the lunatics are going to be out. So let me get to scraping this a little bit. defroster works really fast I am still a little lightheaded and it's I've noticed it's when I move as I move but it is supposed to start pouring down rain here in the next few hours and my sinuses tend to act up when the pressure um, when the precipitative pressure is up let me cover my hands guys cuz they're cold but anywho I'm gonna get home pop me some sinus pills this is such good weather to make something good and delicious to cook in but friggin dallas and surrounding areas wow it's freezing as it hits the windshield so i better keep that on on high anywho what was i saying oh we are notorious for losing power anytime the weather gets a little wonky so i don't want to I don't want to pretend that I can uh, start a good pot of stew or some quick chili um, without um, things going awry. But that's the goal, to get home safely, take my time. Uh, thankfully, I leave right before uh, rush hour actually starts. But people were leaving early. I'm surprised our hospital, not just surprised, a little ticked off, honestly, that our hospital didn't let us leave early. I mean, really? Really? That's how much y'all care about us? <sighs> but anywho. Yeah, uh, my sister was let off early, and she did mention that on her way home, which is not far from here, actually. She works in one hospital in the area, and I work in the other. And they let them out early, and she said that on her way crossing over the bridge that connects the two parts of our neighborhoods, um, there was a truck spun out and had hit the guardrail on a bridge. But that bridge is like super high and those tend to freeze over fast. So, I'm gonna get my hiney home. And I do have some stuff to show you guys. I was gonna get on this weekend, but I was so lazy. I felt so lazy, you guys. But I've been to um, Black Friday. I've been to Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know if I've been thrifting. I got a Temu. Uh, I got, uh, I had put in a little order, a small order for Temu, and I got that. Um, and then just random little things that I found on clearance at Walmart or here or there, here or there. But, uh, we'll do a haul because I think I'm actually going to be at home tomorrow. It's supposed to pour down rain. It's going to drop down to, like, way below freezing not super below freezing but enough to freeze the rain and um i ain't crazy okay i'm not gonna get out in this mess i worry about my big dude i worry that he he's gonna be leaving for work here in the next hour 
and he has a longer commute than I do so hopefully he makes it to work safely and then I think he's gonna get iced in honestly because it's supposed to be bad tomorrow morning and he gets off at 6 in the morning so I'm just gonna put him in God's hands and um, ask that God you know grace him home safely you know put his little angels of protection around him uh, cuz yeah tomorrow morning supposed to be really bad so I don't think I'm going to work uh, I haven't got word yet on little dude's school everybody's like waiting for the last minute I'm not sure why y'all know how Dallas does let's let's stop tripping uh, but I'm waiting for um, for word from um, his school to see if they're gonna be closed now if they're closed absolutely I'm staying home because there's no way I'm gonna be leaving my kid home even if I thought I could make it to work. I'm not going to leave my kid home. And then what if I can't get home to him? You know what I mean? Because tomorrow's supposed to rain and be just as bad. So we're expecting bad weather Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm hoping not. Um, but anywho, I'm going to get home. I want to make something warm to eat. I know we're going to spend it upstairs because I really don't feel like fiddling with the fireplace. I got plenty of firewood, but I don't feel like fiddling with the fireplace. And downstairs is just not comfortable. So I'm going to eat and maybe we'll picnic up. I'm going to eat. I'm going to cook something. And maybe we'll picnic upstairs. I'd pick up some fast food, but no. We're, I'm getting a little too comfortable with that. And while little dude's GI clearly states this kid could benefit from a burger um, or a pizza. I don't. I do not benefit from it. And I don't want to get used to it, you know. I don't want to get used to, sorry, I don't want to get used to, do y'all hear that? I pushed decline, the call was coming in from a number I don't recognize, so I'm not in no hurry to answer it, but anywho, um, I forgot what I was saying. I'm going to head home and um, cook up something and camp out and pray for the best, Hope, pray that the electricity doesn't go out and we're stuck freezing like happened a few years ago that was just terrifying that's what we're all afraid of that's what we're all afraid of but i hope you guys are warm and safe wherever you guys are if you are my fellow texans bundle up stay safe and i'll see you guys when i get home hola guys we are home and cozy well cozy now i had to go outside i keep having to recover my plants because the wind is blowing off the tarps and sheets my avocado plant did croak. It did not survive. Shame on me. I could not keep the tarp on it for nothing. Or the sheet. And then the sheet froze anyway. So my avocado. My loyal avocado that grew so beautifully for me for so many years is gone. I still haven't peeked under the sheets for the ferns and the aloes. So who knows. But we're in tonight for pretty bad weather. And then Wednesday, pretty bad weather. We're not looking for temperatures above freezing until Thursday. But I did come upstairs. We have eaten. I did come upstairs. Um, I did do fast food. I picked up a pizza. Because um, I just, I, I just, I didn't feel like cooking. Something about the cold weather. You know, it just did something to my lazy bones. And I just, I didn't want to come home and cook. And I asked if little dude wanted something fast foody or if he wanted food food and he said pizza so I went and grabbed one and then on the way there I made it home perfectly fine and on the way to the pizza place I had to pass an overpass and duh, I forgot what I was driving in there was a pickup truck in front of me thankfully it was just two of us on this overpass um pickup truck in front of me started to skid kind of fish tailing and then started doing this so I panicked and stepped on the brake which you're not supposed to do you're not supposed to slam on the brake and that's exactly what I did so I stepped on the brake and I'm like oh my gosh it's an overpass stupid it's ice it was just crunchy ice and I start going this way so while the pickup truck is turning this way I'm going this way and our bumper is almost clipped and I swear it's funny now, but it wasn't at the moment. It kind of like everything went in slow motion where I looked at the lady and the lady looked at me and we're kind of like, no, it felt like slow motion. But afterwards I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you God. Thank you God that nobody was hurt. She kept sliding. I saw her in my rearview mirror. I finally got over the overpass onto like just the wet ground. I mean the wet street, but she kind of slid a little, kind of did a little bit of this before she regained control. But yeah don't slam on your brakes and ice guys don't do it 
But anywho, um, I am in my, I call this my little caveman uh, cover because I was outside. I'm in my nightgown, guys. But I had to go make sure that the plants were secure for the last time for the night. And I just threw this on. It's my little, my little raccoon. Get up. Y'all remember when I thrifted this? I think I might have done a runway. My one of two runways um, in the hallway. But it's super warm. Now it's a little too warm, but I just literally came in and plugged you guys up. Because I want to show you guys this. Since I'm going to be out tomorrow, I'll actually have time to put stuff away. So let me jump into the Temu stuff because it's at the very, very tippy top. I didn't order a whole lot of stuff, but I could not resist this for Martin. It's this adorable little bowl with water bottle dispenser. Now, y'all know I had just got him one as a Dollar Tree, right? Well, he didn't really seem jazzed up about it. He practically ignored it. I think he totally ignored it. Um, so I ended up not feeling too bad about ordering this one. I'm going to put the other one outside for the little strays that run around out there. And Rodney the raccoon, although he does make my life a living heck, ripping up my trash. Um, you know, I'm sure he gets thirsty. So I'll put that out there for the squirrels and whatever is out there. But isn't this the cutest stinking thing? And the little bowls pop off. And look at how cute they are, little kitty shaped. And this was really, really cheap. Um, but I couldn't resist it for little Martin. Okay. And, oh, here are the other few things I have. Oh, I did go to the thrift store, guys. Okay. Now, this little thingy. Y'all know I don't wear no makeup, y'all, but... I couldn't resist this little palette thing. Um, put your thumb through it and you put your, it's in the shape of a heart. Can y'all tell? It's in the shape of a heart. Uh, you put your thumb in it and it's a palette. You put your little, um, it's all scratched. No, it's not. It's just fuzzies. And you put your foundation on there and then you dunk your brush in it and you do this away because I use the back of my hand sometimes and then you got to get your makeup wipe and take all that mess off. And I just thought I like the look of this. I thought it was really neat. Like I really know what I'm doing, right? Uh, and that was a really, really good price. And this keeps going on sale. Like it'll be one price one day and then another price another day. But I don't think I've ever seen it for more than $2. Then I got these. I love the color. Now, it looked bigger on the picture on the website. Uh, but it is this little lilac um, set of ear cleaning tools. I know. Gross, right? Now, some of these I don't even know how to use. But they are, um, they have the little purple handles. And they have these little random tools. I'm kind of scared to use some of these things. They look kind of medieval. Now, I have the scoops. I have a scoop. Uh, but I just thought it was a neat little uh, device. But these twisty ones, they look like little like little um, egg beaters. I don't know about all that. Have y'all ever used these kind of thingies in your ears? These little twisty things? I'm a little scared of them. But something about it just drew me to them. Nice little thing to have for your for your upkeep. Uh, and I love the fact that it was purple. Really, really good price. So grab that. And then the only other thing. Oh, no, I did get something for little dude. The main thing, which is why I started this. Um, oh, there's a couple more things in here. The main thing, which is why I started this order to begin with. And I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. I put this back over and over and over again. Now they have a red one and this gorgeous green. And I almost got the bread one as well. But I thought, let me see what it looks like first. It's this lovely watch. Now I don't really wear watches because I feel kind of masculine in them. But there's no way you could feel masculine in this one because it's so stinking pretty. And I'm glad I got it because it's very nice. It's very nice looking. I don't know. It gives me... Why am I thinking 80s? But it gives me 80s vibes. Isn't that pretty little shiny leather and that beautiful face? 
so stinking pretty. And this was a really, really good price. I might get the red one now. I don't know. And the only other thing that I got for myself was this little thingy. And again, it looked bigger on the website. Uh, and I kind of wish it were a little bit bigger, but it's still very pretty. Very pretty, very dainty. Okay, let me show you the detail of it. Try to. Do y'all see it's a little heart? It's a little silver heart pendant. And then it has this pretty little fakey stone in it. Isn't that nice? Just a pretty little necklace. And this is another one of those items that I kept putting back when I was ordering my other Temu things. I kept, oops, backwards. I kept putting it back. There we go. I kept putting it back thinking, nah, you don't need it. Nah, you don't need it. No, I don't need it, but it's so pretty and I wanted it. And I'm glad I bought it. It's really cute. So let me Now let me go grab what I got for a little bit. Now before I show y'all, I want y'all to get prepared because it's a little scary, okay? Now, when I went online and I saw it, I was a little leery about getting it because I've heard mixed reviews about these type of things. You can see my big dude in the shadow, my little dude, my medium dude uh, in the mirror. But anywho, I'm a little leery about the descriptions because they'll put a picture up of something that looks amazing and then people are getting the actual item and they're like, it's a joke, it's a horrible uh, copy and this and that, this and that. So I was a little leery, but for the price, I was like, if it's a total failure, I can rejudge it up. But it is scary, but y'all ready? Okay. <laughs> little dude has been wanting one of these, but they're like 60 to $80 at any Halloween shop. And I thought on the picture, it looked like a pretty good version, you know, a pretty good copy of it. And uh, the people that had got it got really good reviews, gave really good reviews for it. So I went ahead and winged it. Now, the only thing with it, guys, is it stinks. It smells real chemical. It's gotten better, right? Mm -hmm. It smells very chemical, very plasticky. And I had it sitting outside, airing out when I first got it. It was really bad. I didn't want him putting that on. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Am I allergic to it? I allergic I don't know but anyway excuse me uh I had it airing out outside because it was really stank like it was funky and I was scared of him breathing in like who knows what but it has since gotten better and a lot of people on the Temu website did say that like air it out be sure you know you 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 air it out some and the smell has gotten better it still smells some but for the price it's really really good hopefully between now and Halloween uh it won't smell as plastic and gross but that was what started this little Temu order. Temu, Timu, Temu order. But that's all of Timu, Temu. I'm going to say Timu because that's just what I'm used to. Hold on, guys. I'm thirsty. I did pop a sinus pill when I got home and it dries you all up, but super bad. But I was like headed and headachy. And the rain's not creeping in, I think, till 2 in the morning. But anywho. Uh, I see a few other little random things in here. I found this little thing at Target. It's a heat mat. You can put your um, straightener or curling orange or whatever on it just to be sure that, you know, you ain't toasting up nothing on your counter. And it was in the three, that little $5 spot, that little dollar spot in the front. Um, and it was three bucks. And I really can use this because I'm always paranoid about it sitting on the counter. Um, you know, just so, just like that. And I liked it because it reminded me of a cupcake with the little sprinkles. It reminded me of a sprinkles cupcake. But that's definitely going to come in handy. Uh, other little random things are... I should have been prepared. Just some random things from Walmart. I picked up a few more. I picked up a few more waxes. This is Farmhouse Plaid very lovely smell kind of masculine give the kids a break give the boys a break from all the fruity tooty uh that i keep burning up in here and then alluring alluring smells a little like farmhouse plaid except the farmhouse plaid is a little heavier a little warmer and this one is a little it's 
excuse me, something is happening. Ooh. Okay, but anywho, they're similar, but one is just a little warmer than the other. But I really liked them, and little dude really liked the alluring. So, like I said, I want to give the boys a break from all the uber girly scents that I have going on in here. And then at Walmart, uh, I found some uh, clearance lip gloss. This is the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse. I got two of them. Sorry, guys. I got two of them, and I'm on Cloud Wine. Isn't that cute? That's a cute little name, I'm on Cloud Wine. And then this one is called Girl, You're Whipped. <laughs> A little darker than what's showing on screen but I wanted something a little nude oh my gosh what is happening here okay and then a couple of things at Dollar Tree aren't to these adorable y'all know I like little picks pixie sticks and picks for my plants I'm not big on the these guys what are these guys gnomes but these were particularly adorable, especially this one with the little purple hat. So they're going to be adorning some plant of mine in, um, in the spring. I grabbed these nail guard sponges because my nails are getting a little long. And I just like, I like the idea of the little groove in them for you to stick your claws in. And, um... Just make it a little more convenient. Hopefully these are as good as the little green ones I usually buy. But I grabbed two because I am down to like my last three little scrubby sponges. And I need my sponges. I found this Chapstick Total Hydration Moisture Tint Glip Gloss or Chapstick in this little peach color. Um, it's a little darker than showing on, on screen. Again, I still can't figure out the lighting here very well but chapstick is a good brand y'all know i talk about being ashy up in the winter so i got that and then, then because little dude and i got some serious crocodile lips happening i got a lip scrubber i thought i had bought one of these and i can't find it now i know i have lip scrubs and i've made sugar scrub for us in the past but um I don't know what I did with the one I bought. Or maybe I thought about buying one and didn't. I'm not sure. But now we have one. I'll just sanitize it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll just sanitize it between uses. Because I'll be gross. My yap to his. Mm -mm. And then I could not pass this up, guys. The crafty girl in me was like, get it. I don't know how much you go for anywhere else. But I got this for five bucks. It's a wood burning tool. What are these called? Little Dremels? Is that what they're called? I'm not sure. Uh, but I thought $5 was a really good price for something that I can mess around and get a little creative with. And that is everything. Oh, no, no, no. I'm lying. I'm lying. I could not resist this, okay? It says, yes, I really do need all of these cats. It's this little plaque in the kitty shape. And it's going to go on my kitty shelf because, yes, I really do need all those cats. So I just thought that was absolutely stinking adorable. And then the only other thing I picked up were these lithium batteries for my uh, key fob because for the life of me, that key fob, every battery I put in there keeps dying. And then I went to Thrifty Station. Apparently I went to Thrifty Station and I found this adorable little metal uh, crab plaque and it's gonna go outside on a specific wall right over my water hose I figured water hoses are there let's do like a water theme so I have some metal uh, uh, fishies and a metal lobster I just have some really cute things on that particular wall and I thought this would be a good addition to it and it was only a dollar and then I found two crosses do I need them no I'll find a happy home for them they're a little heavier uh, I, I was I was looking for something bright so I could put them on my gallery wall, you know, dispersed here and there and here and there. But those are kind of hard to find. Um, and then I walked in and the only thing I had found was that little plaque. And I feel bad going in there and not buying anything because it's for such a worthy cause in the community. And then I looked on the wall and I saw crosses. I'm like, oh, but you really don't have any more room for them. But I'll make room for a worthy cause. And this one was $3.00. And then this one, it's a little 
little beat up um but i went ahead and bought this one as well so this but this one was two so that's what i grabbed at those spots and then the only other place i've been to is black friday and i went that wednesday that i had little dudes ard meeting after the meeting the day that i went to the buffet and all that the day uh, right after the meeting and everything i ran out i had to pick up a few little things and i passed right by it i said oh my gosh it's 50 cent day so i, so I went in and it was packed but I did walk away with a bag full of things, okay? So, let's get in here. I got two of these. Because this is a year I think I'm going to get new furniture, I think. The only reason I hadn't gotten new furniture, living room furniture, was because I had the cats and Ozzy destroyed. Well, no, Janie before my Ozzy destroyed my sofa. Ozzy kind of helped in destroying Martin's never really scratched the furniture. Martin likes to scratch the carpet. Uh, but this year may be the year I get my new living room sofa. And I just, in case, I got uh, the scratch furniture protectors. Which I think is crazy because these in particular, it's not like the sticky tape where you stick it on there and leave it be. These have these little twisty ties that you actually spin into the upholstery of your sofa which i think is kind of kind of dumb because that's the whole point right you're buying these to keep from having holes in your furniture but you're gonna twist these little things into it but anywho i got two 10 packs for 50 cents each i found a beach day puzzle a thousand pieces i just just because it was only 50 cents but it's a nice little scape don't you think don't you think i think it's cute i found this little metal sign in a sea of fish be a permade <laughs> they have been a black cat it'd be awesome uh, but I got it because this gray kitty reminds me of my Jamie my baby for 14 years before my Ozzy Then I found this little case for my phone. It's a silver, and I have one attached to this one, something similar, but this has the little holdy thing. I just thought that was pretty. So grab that. I found little dude a two pack pencil bag, uh, gray and a pink. I'm gonna keep it the pink for me. Um, but we were actually looking for one of these right before school started. And we usually buy the little cheapy ones at Dollar Tree and they were sold out. So when I saw this, I'm like, hey, we need to have that. He'll have it ready for next year. I found this little bag of Velcro cable ties. Just a whole bunch of these guys. You can tie all of your cables together, which I need to do in the living room and under our computer because that does tend to drive me a little nuts. Uh, seeing all those wires just all over the place and this is um, quite a few of them I don't know how many but quite a few of them in this bag I thought this was really cute and I haven't even shown little dude it's a mouse pad with the alien on it he collects uh, the alien action figures or whatever they're called and we like the movies so I thought this would be cute for under his mouse um, I haven't shown it to him yet but I think he's really gonna like it and then I did it again, guys. I am still looking for a friggin' one of these little things for one of my little tablets. And this one is too small. And there were they had a bigger one. And I almost got the bigger one. But it looked too big. And now thinking about it, I'm like, I should have got it. This is just a little, a little too small for the one I have. So I keep collecting these because I'm old and confused. This is a um little notebook a little soft cover notebook and i like to have stuff like this for notes um because i am a church note taker and just because i don't go to church in a building anymore i do the online thing ever since my little church you know ain't around anymore but it's this really pretty yellow little notebook 
brand new for 50 cents. You can't have enough of this kind of stuff, especially if you're a note taker. A note taker like me. So I thought that would be good for that. I still have quite a few pages left on my note one for Chitch. But it's good to have for when I need it. And then I found this little pencil pouch. It's the Naruto pencil pouch. And little dude's little brother loves Naruto. Um, and I thought he could take this to him next time he sees him. It's just a little pencil pouch. It rolls up with little Velcro. And it's the whole Naruto theme. I thought that was cool. So maybe his little bro will like it. I got two of these. Oops, they came out. Okay, I got two boxes of these. One, two. And what they are are these hooks that you slide onto the bottom of your cabinets to hang your coffee mugs on. See? They go like this, and then you hang your coffee mug on there. And each box has four of them. So I got two. And y'all know I'm a coffee cup junkie, so I think that'll be on a sleep. This, my friends, is a massage ball in blue. And I saw them and I thought, at first I thought they were like the little coaster, the coaster feet, the coaster roller feet of something. I'm like, well, what the heck did these come off of? But it's not. It's a little roller ball. And I don't know if you're supposed to put it in the fridge razor to freeze it and get that type of effect, but it's just this little ball. And you masseuse yourself. I thought that would be nice for a few minutes in the freezer, in the refrigerator, nice and cool. I wonder if you can warm these up. That'd be nice too. But I just like the look of it. I thought it was neat, so I grabbed it. I hope it ain't nothing pervy, because you never know in that store. Sometimes you come across some stuff in that store. Massage ball blue. I hope that wasn't pervy, and I just rubbed it on my face. But it is brand new. And then the only other thing that I picked up was this box of cards. Um, really sarcastic cards, and I can't read. I can't show you all of them. But this one is, oh joy, it's the season of flying reindeer. And you all see that? I thought that was hilarious. Why be naughty when you can be a uh, beep? I don't know who's watching, so... I'll cover. Why be naughty when you can? Okay. All I went for. All I want for Christmas is Santa's naughty boys list. Look who that is. I thought that was amazing. She wondered if being good at being naughty counted. Look at the freaking artwork on these. I think it's amazing. The Johnsons' attempt at boasting and rhyme was always the highlight of the season. They're laughing at. A little Christmas card they got from a friend. That's so tacky, but I swear something I would do. Leah had a certain urge to make some toast on Christmas morning, only to realize she did not cook. These are just little sarcastic um, cards. No, dearie, there was nothing in the eggnog. It was all in the fruitcake. I love the artwork. I thought that was so amazing. She put out for Santa. Mm -mm. permanently on the naughty list and loving every minute of it these are so cool and dear santa all i ask for is a fat bank account and a skinny figure i thought those were so neat and those are definitely going to be handed out to some ladies i know this next upcoming christmas but that is everything i've been wanting to show you guys that for a while because it was just sitting down there but that is everything i'm about to take off this fuzzy thingy um go take me a nice warm shower yeah even though i already have on my nightgown that's the first thing i did i came home i got little dude fed i threw on my nightgown and watched uh some tv and then i fell asleep on the sofa and then i woke up and i checked on everybody we're checking on each other making sure everybody's okay little dude's kind of laying low i guess he didn't need no mama time he just needed some pizza time but I'm about to go get into a nice warm shower and then um, put all this away and settle in for the night. I hope you guys are okay. My Dallas people, if any of y'all are here in my neck of the woods, stay safe. I'm going to sound like 
Fox 4, if y'all don't need to be out in this mess, don't be out in it. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay warm. Eat some good food. Cuddle up on your kiddos who aren't going to be going to school. Wherever you guys are, stay safe and warm. And until my next go-around, I love y'all bunches. Bye.